Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another acrylic painting tutorial. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you're brand new to my channel, then welcome and please go ahead and subscribe. Okay, so let's get into this painting. This is an 8x10 double primed and stretched canvas, pre-painted gray. I just used two coats of my slate gray Americana, let it dry, and we're going to do a simple, simple basic landscape today. Very pretty and no skill required okay this is for anybody just starting join in with us you just need a few colors and brushes so i've got a little bit of mars black titanium white phthalo green and phthalo blue there's a little bit of neon pink in there as well from my last painting if you haven't seen that one it's really really pretty i'll have a link below so you can check that out so i had some leftover paint and i thought i would use it and make a bonus video for you guys this week Okay, the first brush we're going to be using is a large filbert brush. Mine happens to be a number 30. You might have something bigger or smaller that'll work just fine as well. You want it to have just a little bit of water in it. And I'm going to take all three of these colors. I'm just going to scoop them up. And I'm just going to start working my way up and down the canvas. So you can see, just take a minute to see all the different shades and tones where we've got a bit more of the pink that mixed with the blue. We've got some purple tones in there and then we've got some beautiful bluey green, phthalo blue and green mixture over on this side. I'm gonna go across the bottom, back and forth, side to side. I want to mention that you don't have to have a gray canvas for this painting. You can apply these colors and techniques on any canvas that you want. So it can be black, it can be white. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water to my brush. Thin that paint out. And just get the rest of the canvas. Okay, the next brush we're going to be using is a mop brush. This one is a one inch round mop brush. It's completely dry. The paint is all still wet and that's going to help us make some softer shades of pastel tones of all of those colors. So if we apply this white paint a little bit on the bottom of the brush, don't go directly into that big glob of paint. That's going to be too much paint for your brush and you'll lose the shape. You just want to sneak in there very carefully and just pull a little bit of that white and tap the bottom. And then I'm going to come in from the side sort of on an angle and look already we're making some softer shades of those colors. I'll come in on this side and do the same thing. Push and tap, leaving a few spaces. Okay, then the next thing I'm going to do is just Pull lightly, side to side, back and forth, and then I'm going to go up and down, up and down. I'm going to come in with a little bit more white, a little bit heavier, then I'm going to tap a little bit more to create some brighter snowy highlights okay then I'm going to go up and down again with this paint on my brush Cross. 
So we've got a nice waterfall in here, reflection in the water, some beautiful shades of all the blue and green, hints of that purple back in there. I don't know if you guys can see that through uh, the screen, but it's really pretty. Uh, the next brush I'm gonna use is a liner brush. I'm just gonna get some white and I'm gonna apply a few little wiggly lines, really simple again for um, some branches and tree trunks. Just gonna come right in here, pull and wiggle. We don't have to have the tree trunk visible everywhere. We can just sneak in a little bit, a little branch here and there. Now, if you don't have these brushes I'm using today, you can use other brushes, anything similar, smaller or bigger. A round brush, round tipped brush will work as well. Just very little pressure with the tip of your brush to create those branches. just going to finish off with a little bit more white mop brush again and I'm just going to tap a little bit more in here wherever I want it to be nice and bright I'll add a little bit more right in here load the brush up again just a little bit see how it looks when it's loaded I'm concentrating on just one side of it mostly so I can have better control. And let's just add a little bit in here as well. Help kind of just tuck that beautiful waterfall, winter waterfall oasis in there. And a quick little sweep. with my number 16 filbert brush again. I'm just going to go to the base of the waterfall and just tap, 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 tap. A little bit more and just pull some gentle ripples in the water. Not a lot of movement, just enough to still keep it nice and tranquil. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial today. You've learned a lot in a short amount of time, all real time. Nothing sped up here. You can all do this, and I'm really looking forward to hearing your comments, reading all of your questions, anything you have that you want to add below this video, feel free to do so. And don't forget to give this video a like. Just click the like button there and share it with your family, friends, and painting groups. Have a wonderful day and enjoy learning to paint with me. See you soon in another video. Bye everyone.